It's like making love on a broken table. Fun and risky, but can leave you damaged. Splinters, shards of wood, possibility of a collapse, a downfall, a fall down, a breakdown, if you will. Hope you're doing well. Having a nice weekend. This, of course, is Replicant Fish. And I hope you guys, men and women, enjoy this one. The Broken Table. What is the broken table in terms of modern relationships, of modern hookups? You see, the normal table, when one says, what do you bring to the table? What do you bring to this union, this relationship, this marriage, whatever? What do you bring to this relationship? Now, many modern women are so bold enough to say themselves. Now, in that point, I would say the question was asked wrong in that case. The better question would be, what do you bring to the bedroom? Indeed. And if she says herself, then of course she's correct. What else would you expect? You know, but yeah, yeah. So in terms of what does a woman bring to the table, a woman herself would have to have something of genuine interest to the man. Something of genuine want and desire beyond the sex. Now, let's be honest here. Yeah, let's be honest here. For many men, the woman just has to be good-looking enough and just decent enough, basically. I'm, I'm trying to make it sound nice, but it's kind of difficult. I'm trying. I'm trying. But for many men, they don't require much because as the, because as the producers, the builders, the creators, the greatest thinkers, and the doers, because we've had no choice but to as men, obviously we naturally bring something for the most part. Especially if you're a man that's been about your life and what you're doing. You've been in pursuit of your goals. You've been in pursuit of higher education, pursuit of business, of creating something, building something yourself or whatever. So as men, we know we have something to bring. We know we can have something to bring. And I'm speaking of men that actually have something to bring, not men that approach with nothing and expect something. No. So now the concept of the broken table is this. What could women bring to a table that's broken because the man here isn't trying to make a table to invite a woman to? No, there will be no fine dining here. There will be no buffet. Woman, I don't even want you at my table. You can't even come up to the table to even say you are the table. Because if you are this broken mess, then it, so be it. But my point is, the broken table is the simple concept of a man not caring. He's not making a table for a woman to approach. He doesn't care. So what could women bring to a broken table? A table in which this man knows he needs nothing from this woman. He wants nothing from her. Now some would say, why would a woman even attempt to bring something to this table? Why even bother? Why not just go on to a man that offers this big, beautiful table, glisten, polished off table, and he's sitting there with a big smile on his face, with everything he has to offer. Why would a woman not go for that than this man over here with the broken table? Now, in some cases, in certain cases, we have seen how men have had many presentable tables. Yeah, but, yeah, but some of the women don't want to eat off their tables. No, they want that man's table. They want that fun, risky table. They want that broken, that splintered, shard, the broken wood tables everywhere adventure. You see, my point is, men that present broken tables to women are men that don't care. They may still sleep with them, but they don't care. The broken table concept also comes from modern day and times. How many men have seen that having a table, this presentable table, it's pointless for the most part. Some men see that there is no point in this in the first place. Why present a table? Don't care. And to add to the broken table, Maybe a different situation of the broken table. This situation. Let's say that at some point in the past, this table was intact. Was a big, broad, strong table. Filled. A proper buffet. A bevy of things. Many things that this man had amassed, accumulated. But you see, over time, this table was taken from. This table was stolen from. This table was pulled apart. It was wrecked, and once everything had been taken from the table, yeah, the buffet was over. Table abandoned. 
the man still there, somewhat older, hopefully wiser, but now with less. Less because he wanted to share, he wanted to share in his abundance. Share this abundance with a woman, women, one, few, many, whatever. But in exhausting all of his resources just to please these women, to get them to come to his table, this man was left here in the end with nothing but a flipping broken table. Nailed back together, one leg missing, half propped up with wood and books, covered in dust, ashtrays, broken glass, empty bottles of alcohol. You see, there are many reasons for men to end up with a broken table. A table in which, it's not that they don't have a table and it's not that they can't repair the table, of course they can. They're men. But the point is, many men have seen that the table is pointless to have it even to offer. They see no point in even having this table here, why repair it? For many men, it's the trauma of, it's the trauma of offering so much, getting little in return, and then seeing how some have taken from their table and gone off to another table. How in eating at your table, how they became fat. Not physically, in some cases, but financially, if you will. How they became better from eating at your table. From eating your fine foods, drinking your expensive wine, your fresh, clean mountain water. The finest fish and meats, purest of natural organic vegetables, ever. Now, these are all metaphors for the things you have accumulated in your life. And men see and men should see and learn. See why this man has a broken table. See why those men have broken tables. See why you know these men can repair their tables and make more women come to their tables. Yet deliberately, they leave their table looking like crap. Not themselves, not themselves, no, no, no. Not them. The table is what they have to offer the woman. You see, themselves, they still work on themselves. You see, many men should learn that life is not about just having a table to make women approach or to make women want to eat from your table. It's to learn to be a man that can build the table, yet be the same man that can flip the table over, flip this damn thing over. Let them know none can eat from this table. None should. It is my decision. There are many other simp tables with candelabras, party poppers, all the cake and crap you can eat. But many men have learned to either break their tables, leave their tables broken if someone else or others have broken their tables, or just turn their tables over. For many men, it's not a question. It's a knowing that, well, she has nothing to bring to the table. Nothing. If it's herself, that is what she brings to the bedroom. Herself. That makes sense. A table is a place of more. It's supposed to be a place of building. A place in which a woman that comes to the table, that you give a seat to, alongside you or opposite you, this woman should be able to enrich the table, make it better, help towards the building of the table and the maintenance. And the maintenance. But nowadays, <laughs> nowadays, there are broken tables everywhere. Some have learned, if it's not about the money, the food, the treats, the sweets. Some just don't care. Some just don't give an F. In other words, focus. Observe. Remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.